Okie dokie. Good evening. I'm going to keep this one very brief um, because it is very late. I have work in the morning and my phone is about to die. Um, today I moved on to the next phase on the app and I honestly probably could have done that sooner um, had I not had my uh, food intestinal stitch in my side problems that I did yesterday and the day before. Um, once again, I am making this late because I had to be at my parents' house because I had laundry to do and such. But, um, yeah. So, previously, like I said, uh, the, the last phase of the running thing was, um, a minute of walking, a minute and a half of running, back and forth, and then for the last half of the run, it was a minute of running and a minute of walking, um, back and forth. For this one, all, ah, I dropped you, okay, sorry. For this one, all it was was minute and a half of walking, minute and a half of running, minute and a half, minute and a half, minute and a half, which was not that bad compared to, yeah, it just, just wasn't that bad. It wasn't that much worse than what I had already been doing. It was very nice. Um, yeah. Again, I probably couldn't have handled that as well if I had with all of my uh, eating problems that I was having and the stitch in my side that I was getting and everything, but oh well, this is fine. I, um, I'm actually kind of glad that I backed off and that I decided to repeat that couple of days just because of the problems that I was having. Um, and again, the fact that I'm trying to expand this program out as long as I can um, because I might run out of days on the app before I get to the 4th of July, which is when the 5k is and all of that. Um, but yeah. So anyway, um, I think that's about it. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to keep this as brief as I can. Um, yeah. This was really nice. It The, the minute and a half back and forth works really well. Can't wait to do it again tomorrow. Oh, I skipped yesterday. Um, but that's the only day I'm going to skip this week. Uh, the next day I skip is probably going to be possibly over the, the weekend. Today's Sunday, so it prob- I don't know. We'll see how I feel, we'll see how life goes. Life does get in the way of such things. Um, one other small note, don't want to be too TMI. If you're weird about, uh, normal bodily functions and you're a child about it, then maybe, uh, you could s stop watching the video here. But, um, sorry, it sounded like someone knocked on my window and that was creepy. I think it was just a bug running into my window. I don't know. Um, yeah. So today was the first day of my period. And yesterday, part of the reason that I didn't run was because it was the day before and I was not feeling very well. I had a really crappy day at work and just a lot of stuff was going on and I just was not feeling it. Um, today, I knew that I was going to be starting, um, but thankfully, and I was supposed to work today, thankfully I switched shifts with someone else at work. Um, and it wasn't even because I wanted to, it was because they had a, a situation going on for one of their days. So we switched, and I ended up with today off, and I'm very glad because usually the first day is really, really bad for me. Um, I pretty much always, and maybe I'll do a whole separate video about this, but I have pretty much always had excruciatingly painful menstrual cycles. As long as I've had a period, I mean, it wasn't as bad when I was like 13 and I first started, but for the most part, as long as I can remember, I don't ever remember not being in some sort of really terrible pain during my period. Um, today wasn't so bad. Part of it was because I preemptively took some ibuprofen, like as soon as I realized that it was happening, I took some ibuprofen and I chilled out. I didn't have work. I just kind of hung out and I was okay. And I, you know, I didn't do a whole lot of work or anything like that. Um, but also, I think that the exercising is helping. 
which I'm pretty sure, and this is a little bit aggravating, of all of the solutions that I have heard to trying to alleviate really bad menstrual cramps, I've heard maybe one person say that good diet and exercise helps. Like, one person. Everyone else either says, oh, go on birth control, get an IUD, or you need to take this particular supplement, or whatever. But I've maybe only heard, like, one person say, good diet and exercise. And I was like, huh, that's that's interesting. But I never really thought of it. And that's not why I started doing this running thing and started trying to eat better. Um, I just did it because I wanted to be healthier. But... We'll see how this goes. Like I said, this is the first day of my period, and this is the first time that I've started a period since I started doing the couch to 5K. So we'll see how it goes. But anyone else out there who might be struggling with this, this could be a really great solution that I feel like no one is talking about. (laughs) And everyone's different, so it's not like, you know, a... 100% gonna work for everyone but anyway um yeah so that was a thing that I thought was interesting um I was really worried that when I started my period that I would just not want to run for a couple of days because usually it's like the first day and a half or the first two days are terribly painful and unbearable and then after that it's fine um so we'll see. I'll see how I feel tomorrow. I'm definitely going to try to run after work tomorrow. I've got a lot of stuff going on that I need to do tomorrow and in general. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's all I had to say about that. Um, so we'll see. I think tomorrow is going to be the same minute and a half, minute and a half, minute and a half, so on. Um, but yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have a good evening, morning, afternoon, nighttime, whatever time it is that you're watching this. And be sure to check out my description for my TikTok, because that's the only social media I have, because it's the only one um, that doesn't have unnecessary political content that I've noticed. Anyway, I will see you around.